What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this adjustable Lego chair. This is a really simple but effective design that can be raised and lowered to whichever height that you want using the handle on the side. On top of that you can also rotate the chair around and same thing with the backrest that can also go forwards or backwards and the office chair still goes up and down no matter which direction that it is facing, depending on whichever seating position that you want. And it's the perfect size for your minifigures as well. This chair can be raised or lowered to suit whatever height they prefer. And on top of that, it's also a really nice and compact design. So let's take a look at how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need, and I'll leave a link to where you can get the rarer parts which I've used, such as this silver piece, in the description below. So check that out in case you don't already have that piece. Once you've collected all your parts, we'll start with this Technic 2x4 plate and a round 2x2 plate underneath. And we can stick a 1x3 axle through the middle. Then this Technic piece can be clipped in between the studs of the plate, just like that. And slide a 1x2 Technic axle through the side of that piece. Then take this thin Technic lift arm and attach it to one side of here. And next you can take one of these gun or hose pieces and a one by one Technic gear and connect that by sliding the hose or gun piece through there and the gear on the outside. And this is the mechanism that will raise and lower the chair that you can hide underground. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The actual chair is also a nice and simple construction so just use a worm gear this silver part over in the top and for the best height make sure the worm gear is facing this direction just like I have it right now then attach one of your 2x2 two two tiles this is the one with the stud in the middle so not the older type with the X shape and just clip it so the gap of the tile fits neatly over the top of the bar very important for the spacing then attach this Lego arm piece over the top of the bar there you go, you can see why you need that extra little bit of space under there. And this is where you can attach the backrest, which is just two pieces, one of these 1x2 plates. And a 2x2 two two round tile. And there you go, that forms an adjustable backrest, complete with the stand and the legs for the chair. And all of this can join together by simply sliding over the top of this worm gear. And you'll see you can adjust the starting position of the handle. So that's a good starting place. And to raise and lower it, you just raise it up. And that in turn raises that worm gear. And you can raise it up to about here before it starts to get a little bit wobbly. That's still a very decent height, especially in the minifigure scale. And if you'd like to include this in your buildings, I recommend hiding this lower half of the mechanism underground. You only need a couple of bricks height and you can build something really simple just out of a couple of plates and bricks to basically disguise all of this underground. So I won't show you how to build this because it is just literally some tiles on top of some plates. So you can just build something similar or whatever size you want for yourself. And that can just clip around the top here and then you can sandwich in the back with some more plates and tiles to basically hide all that mechanism underground. And then you can clip that to some bricks or the rest of your structure. And that way all of the bottom half of this adjustable chair is neatly hidden away. And that way you can't even tell the rest of the mechanism is there. I hope you enjoyed building this working Lego adjustable chair. And if you did, then don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for even more LEGO creations. As always, a big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and if you'd like to see your name here in the credits as well as get access to exclusive bonus videos then you too can join me on Patreon. The link will be in the description and I'd really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.